Welcome, diecast fans. I'm Tom Spanners Watson. And I'm Frank Hero Gibbs. And welcome to the final round of the Food Truck Fracker. Last week, we saw some epic chaos with the old Toyota van here getting yeeted right off the track. And of course, the massive pile up going into Petrolhead Corner. I've never seen that before. Yeah, that was <laughs> really interesting watching three food trucks trying to get through the corner side by side. And of course, the fourth one adding to the pile up. But let's see the four drivers that made it through to the final. First up, it's Herman driving the VW ID Buzz. Probably the weakest of the drivers. Then we've got Betty driving the Dodge van. You're definitely gonna have to keep your eye on Betty. Sam and Ella driving the Tuck and Roll Sushi food truck. Did it before the food inspectors do. And last but definitely not least, Grandma driving the Granny's Muffins food truck. And just like last week, we're running the same point system, but instead of four races, this is eight races in total. So it's going to be epic. Let's crack into it. We've got Betty and the Tuck and Roll Sushi truck in the front row, and then Herman and Grandma in the back row. So we've got the two quickest drivers in the end Swine Lane, they're going to be battling it out all night, I think. Tuck and roll, tucks into second place. Grandma hot on Sam's tail. Sam trying to block Grandma for some reason. It looks like they've come to a complete stop. But Betty, ahead of the chaos, gets out clean and picks up the first one of the night. I presume Tuck and Roll got a little bit confused there and thought that was maybe Herman coming out behind them and so they were blocking the track but instead they completely blocked out Grandma, their teammate. Well an ideal start for the vans with Betty picking up a maximum 6 points and 0 for everybody else, that is not the start I was expecting. Well 7 more races to go and plenty of points up for grabs as the drivers rotate around we've now got Sam and Ella in the front row with Herman and then Betty and Grandma in the back row. Well it looks like a much tighter group this time. Herman takes the lead, the food trucks battling each other again, Grandma manages to get around Herman blocking the track there. Oh and now Grandma's sandwiched between Herman and Betty. Looks like Grandma's trying to put a move on, gets up the inside, starts to spin out and she's blocked the track. So that is a complete DNF, not quite as spectacular as the full food truck into Petrolhead Corner but it does demand a restart. Let's hope Grandma and Sam and Ella can get their act together and start to get some points on the board this time. As they leave the tunnel for the second time, Grandma hanging back this time, Herman taking on Tuck and Roll. Herman goes down, Herman is on his side, Betty got through, it looks like Grandma picked up second place there, nicely judged heading into Big Kahuna Corner, but at least you'll get some points. Betty takes the win, Grandma second, and here comes Tuck and Roll, they finally managed to cross the finish line. Do you think they stopped for coffee? They're so far behind, it's ridiculous. Well, it looked like Sam finally got it right and blocked out the van rather than poor Grandma, and a great job there from both Betty and Grandma to get through clean and unscathed. I think Grandma might have had a word to Sam and Ella and finally got them straightened out on what the actual game plan is because Grandma wants those points. And check out how far back Sam and Ella were. They definitely stopped somewhere. They must think they're out for a Sunday drive or a family picnic or something, not racing. They got to get their head in the game if they want to win this. So as we go to the scoreboard after the first two races and Betty opening up a massive lead there, 12 points, Grandma second place only on four. They've got a lot of work to do in those food trucks to pick up some points. Well this is the first time Granny's starting in the front row, so expect her to put the hammer down and give it the beans. It looks like Herman's keeping up with her, but she just sneaks into the lead there. Tuck and Roll and Betty tangle up in the back row. Grandma now feeding at the jandals, she races off to a huge lead. The VW just in the background, and as you predicted, Grandma making the most of that front row start, picking up maximum points. And well done Sam and Ella, they're blocking up Betty. Betty was ducking and diving, trying to get around, but Sam and Ella put paid to that. The Tuck and Roll Sushi Truck doing the business for Team Food Truck. It looks like that seems to be the tactic of the food trucks. They're going to sacrifice Sam and Ella by the look of it and get Granny to the lead. Well, by blocking Betty there, they've really made a dent in that lead. Grandma now only two points behind, and she's got another front row start. Yes, but Betty also starting in the front row, and we've got Herman and Tuck and Roll in the back row. Just keep your eye on the Tuck and Roll truck, it's going to try and take out Betty. Grandma and Betty battling hard here. Sam coming in behind but allows Betty to slip through and he's taken out poor Grandma again. Looks like Betty is going to run away with another clean win here. No, nope, Betty's starting to go sideways. She gets it back under control. Looks like Herman putting a serious block on the food trucks there. And Herman crosses the line and we've got no food trucks again. This was clearly payback for the previous race. Sam and Ella there trying everything to block out Betty, but unfortunately they end up blocking Grandma a bit. And then Herman muscled his way right past. And then as we go into Big Kahuna Corner, you see Herman here blocking the track. And oh no, it was actually Grandma. Grandma took out Tuck and Roll. What a mistake. And just like that, Betty moves out to a huge... Huge lead again, eight points. Grandma is going to have to win at least two races here if she wants to get back into contention. My goodness, what an absolute heart pounder so far. I can't wait to see what happens in the next four races and who we're going to crown as the ultimate food truck champion. Here at Granny's Muffins, we make the most sweet, delicious and tasty muffins. 
made with tender love and care, just the way your grandma used to make. And now you can get our muffins covered with Dave's nuts, especially from Dave's Nut Shack. Granny's muffins, mouthfuls of delicious. When was the last time you had a mouthful? It's crunch time as we go to the final four races. Grandma only just in contention if she can pull her finger. Tuck and roll are probably going to struggle unless they can win every race from here on out. As per usual, we've also switched up the starting order so they don't start behind the same vehicle every time. And it looks like Sam's making a break for the front this time. Here comes Betty. Sam takes out Betty nicely and the beat up and around goes Grandma. Grandma with a great move there around the outside. Sam and Ella making the maximum sacrifice, throwing themselves in front of the other two vans and giving grandma maximum points and holding everybody else back. Grandma obviously had quite a word to Sam and Ella during the break and it looks like it's really paid off. That's exactly what grandma needed to get back into contention so she's going to be very happy now racking up maximum points and gets in within two points of Betty again. Well I'd say tuck and roll is definitely out of the running now. <laughs> There's still enough points on the board but it would require that everybody else crashes every race which I think is a little bit unlikely and they're starting in the back row this time as we've got Betty and grandma up the front. Well, this is Chaos Canyon, so anything could happen. Betty and Grandma out in front. Oh, looked like Herman tried to aim for tuck and roll, but it didn't work out. But Betty opening up quite a lead here. The food trucks really need to put the hammer down, but Betty starts to spin. Here come the trucks. Grandma oh, making the move up the inside, and oh, I do not know goodness. who took that. That was so flipping close. Check this out. Herman was definitely aiming for tuck and roll, but they gave it the beans at the right time and slipped out of the trap. Herman got stuck, and then Betty spinning out here, slowed her right down. Grandma saw the blood in the water and look at this move up the inside it is super close let's have a look at that replay a little bit slower and see if we can pick up who wins wow that is too close to call have we got another angle here we go side on and grandma grandma with the win what a move that is a smart piece of driving by grandma picked her moment perfectly and evens the score oh mate that was smarter than a bin chicken eating a cane toad what on earth is a bin chicken you know a bin chicken the feathers and the beak and things you're literally describing every bird in the world oh look you'll just have to google it after the race this is too exciting well it looks like grandma is pretty excited here leading out betty in the back row looks like sam might be trying to take her out again another smart play by team food truck but grandma being very sensible keeping it clean under a little bit of pressure from the v-dub but not enough betty did slip past sam manella though keep your eye on the red tuck and roll sushi truck here spins around to disorient both betty and sam manella tried to block betty on the exit to bogan alley but unfortunately it didn't work but it did at least slow her down and put her in third place so that gives grandma the lead with one race to go so it all comes down to this grandma with a four point lead but anything could happen and both the two points leaders are in the back row <laughs> Grandma could get stuck behind the V-Dub and of course Tuck and Roll have headed out for Betty. Well the V-Dub jumping out to a lead here but it could be trying to slow down the entire field. Yeah look there he goes blocking Sam but Sam gets around nicely. Grandma in last place when Sam running away with it. Betty moving into second place but Sam stops, blocks out Betty. Here comes Grandma again with the last minute run. She moves into third place. Is that going to be enough to secure the win? Herman did quite a good job for Team Van here. Was working very hard to block out Tuck and Roll, but Herman made a slight mistake on the exit and that allowed Sam to slip right on by. Then as Herman tried to straighten himself up, unfortunately got in Betty's way and almost took out his teammate. And then he was left at the back battling Grandma. Now if you look at the top of your screen there, Herman pushing Grandma into the wall, but then got his angle wrong on the exit. Grandma slipped by into third place and that could be enough to take the win. And I must say, it was nice to see all four drivers finish, and Grandma Water run right at the end there. Did she get past the van? No, she didn't quite manage it that time, but she did a great job on that last race. After a slow start, Grandma pulled out all the stops to pick up the win, 30 points to 28. Just a phenomenal bit of driving from Grandma, well deserved. There haven't been many overall races that Grandma has lost since she's been racing at the Canyon, and this is why, her never give up attitude. Oh, absolutely. After being that far behind on points early on, it would have been very easy to give up but not grandma she just kept the hammer down the whole time and what a brilliant effort to come away with a win if you've enjoyed today's racing remember to share it with your friends and family so they can also share in the chaos but that's enough from us tonight thanks very much for watching i'm tom spanners watson he's frank the guru gibbs we look forward to seeing you next time so what's this bidden chicken again you know mate it's the big white bird with the black long beaky thing